We are joined by my Rotary Club president and past president, Tracy Regalia and Michelle Sadat. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming in. What is the club promoting and what are you here to talk about today? The Rotary Club Martinsburg Hope Gala Dinner, Drinks, and Dueling Pianos. Yes. This I, is our second annual, so pretty exciting. Yep. Yeah, just pull, pull those mics pull a little closer. closer. There you go. Yeah. Um, I attended last year. It was fantastic. Lots of great drinks. Uh, and Dueling Pianos That's what you got always out of it? fun. <laughs> well, well, yeah. It is, it is, it is Mike. Mike likes that, so. <laughs> if you know me, <laughs> So what is it benefiting this year and uh, why are you putting it on? So we have two fellow Rotarians uh, with us here. Um, you guys know all about Rotary, but for those of you who don't, Rotary is a service organization. So our motto is service above self, and that's what we're all about. Um, we do so much in the community, and um, a lot of what we do is fundraising, which is what this is all about. Um, so we're putting on a really good time. It's at the Hilton Garden Inn um, on September 28th, and um, we have the best dueling piano show. I'm so excited about it. Same exact guys from last year coming back. If you haven't been to dueling pianos, um, what were their show, names again? Um, it's actually Felix and Fingers. That's right. Um, they're based out of Orlando, and they travel all over the country, um, putting on these really, really amazing shows. Um, and it's, I mean, I thought it was like comic, comedy mm -hmm. mixed in with... Yeah, explain dancing. kind of what a, what a dueling piano is. Well, it's basically a duo, um, and they work really well together. So they feed off of each other while they're going back and forth playing, you know, different tunes. And sometimes they're playing together and singing. Sometimes they're, you know, going off of each other. But it's really a whole... And they're really trying to outdo each other, correct? Is that kind of how it works? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. They kind of, uh, they take um, people's recommendations. So you can go up there and ask them to play anything you want. I think Spice Girls was played <laughs> for my request, obviously. Um, so we had a really good time. And just um, even the guys inflection of their voice and getting up to the high notes and i mean it was just it was it was a good time and people are out there dancing um but all for a good cause like you were mentioning what uh where is the money going this year and in and where did it go last year yeah so last year our club i had to write it down because yep. there's so many things um we actually awarded forty six thousand dollars in grants to six different nonprofits in the area uh, really, really proud of that. We also provided over 200 meals to local senior citizens um, in some of the local towers uh, for Thanksgiving. We gave five scholarships out to Berkeley County high schoolers. Uh, we conducted two community wellness screenings in partnership with WVU Medicine. We provided thousands of hours of community service to many different nonprofits as well as our own um, sponsored programs as a club. Uh, pancakes for polio. You guys were gracious enough Memorial to have Day. us on for yep. that. Um, that's m at the War Memorial Park on Memorial Day. Um, and we even had a project in El Salvador to help provide solar power to um, a village there. Um, and previously, a year before that, we helped with their uh, clean water initiative in that same village. So to say that we're a busy club and that we do a lot for the community is really an understatement. We're really proud of that. How many members uh, uh or at the club now? Well, we have a satellite club also, mm -hmm. which is new as of last year. So in combination with our club, which meets at the Holiday Inn at noon, if you're interested, um, and then the satellite club, I would say it's about 130 members. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I believe our um, local past president, Miss Pam Wagner is the yes. district governor. I want to give her a shout out. Absolutely. I know what a, I know what a job that that is. Yeah. So yeah, we're so proud. Of yeah, you should be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I know that Rotary is very heavily involved in in polio and eradicating polio. Um, I haven't been as involved in the last few years. Can you give me an update of where the polio numbers are now and w what it's looking like to eradicate polio? Last I heard. 
there were no cases of polio, um, but I think they're still, you know, working toward making sure everybody um, globally yeah. is vaccinated and, right. you know, still trying to be proactive. Well, so it's still a huge focus. Okay. Yeah. And how much did we raise last year just from the Hope Gala? Because we gave 46000 but we As have club, three fundraisers. Totally right. Right. Yeah. With all of our fundraising efforts, last year's Hope Gala, um, we profited 25000 dollars for our first That's year. So good. We were really, really yeah. proud of that and thankful to all of our sponsors mm -hmm. um, for helping us get to that number. And um, this year, we're even we're, we're, we have even more sponsors than we did last year, and I would love to shout out to mm. kind of those top year sponsors. Sure. Yeah, go. Um, really excited that PNG is our presenting sponsor at five thousand dollars. So big shout out to PNG for supporting us in this way. Um, Bracken's painting, and by the way, it is. I hear Kevin Bracken's birthday today. So. Oh, happy oh, birthday, Kevin. Last year in his 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you just put out all this. It's my last year in my 40s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We also have Mansion and Peretti. I think you guys are familiar with those. Joe Peretti, way to go. Amazing. Um, Advocate Insurance Group. Which is and, Michelle. Yes. Yep. And um, Canova Aesthetics. Uh, which is a new uh, med spa in downtown Martinsburg. Amazing. Thank I, you. I have driven, I have driven by uh, a couple of times. It does look really nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, Very um, nice aesthetic. Go so in, get a facial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably need to. <laughs> yeah. So, what, so those which, are all $2,500 sponsors. That's the baby grand piano sponsors. Wow. Yeah, and then we have some thousand dollar sponsors mm -hmm. as well. Modern Aesthetics, Elevation Hydration, United Bank. We have Nadine Kennedy with Caldwell Banker, Equitable Advisors, Jefferson Security, CMA, which I feel like they do so much also for they the do. community. Roach Energy, of course, Steve, yeah. we love him. He's one of our members. Um, Edward Jones with Derek and myself and WV Medicine and Donna and Adam Ballinger. Um, they also were donating. Um, so thanks to all of those sponsors. Yeah. Are you still open for sponsors? Yes. And, and have you sold out all the tickets yet? Not yet. We actually are announcing tickets are going live right now. So, so where? Where? Yeah, wait, where can you buy? Martinsburgrotary.com. There you go. Yep, martinsburgrotary.com. You can purchase your tickets right online. And your sponsorship. And how much are they? It's $150 a ticket. All drinks on us, which is a, a nice mm -hmm. little perk. Um, and, of course, there's a full dinner, dessert, the Dueling Piano Show. Um, we have silent and live auction items available as well. We had a whiskey raffle last year, which I think we're going to bring That was back. really good. Time yeah. and date? September 28th. It's at 6 p.m. And it is at the Hilton Garden. And um, last year, I mean, I think everyone is really happy with the food, the service that the Hilton Garden Inn provided. Um, we had a really good time. And um, Pam Wagner, our current district governor, um, did amazing with um, the flowers and all yeah. the centerpieces. I mean, it just, when you walked in, you really felt like you were at a gala. And the auction was really competitive, too. So really, really good quality prizes, silent auction, um, and then the whiskey raffle. It was fantastic. Now, does gala mean black tie? It's optional. Mm -hmm. Cocktail yes. attire, black tie optional. <laughs> but, you know, who doesn't like to get dressed up? Okay. Come on. <laughs> you don't want to show up in your shorts when everybody else is in a tux. <laughs> we had red carpet. Yeah. We had champagne yeah. drink to greet you. Um, they so had a photographer going around. All those promoters were available to, mm -hmm. to, to the attendees. My wife and I had a great time last year. It was really, really good. We yeah. should go, John. Yeah. I'll be in Paris that day. Oh. Okay. Not quite as good as the Hope Gala, well, but, you know, Paris. All right. Happy with yeah. us, I'm <laughs> Anything else you want to share with the uh, audience? Just if you're interested in sponsoring and helping 
uh, Martinsburg Rotary. We would really appreciate your sponsorship. Um, you can go on to martinsburgrotary.com, check out all the different sponsorships and what it entitles you to. Um, great PR for your business. We'll promote it a lot on social media. Thank you for having us on the radio well, so of course. talk about it. Um, also comes with tickets, so um, if you want to get yourself and a couple of your best friends or um, people that you work with together and sponsor a table, we How many tickets are you able to sell, Michelle? Um, we're going to max out at 180. 180, and okay. And we're at 115 with the sponsorships. Oh, wow. So, so those tickets are going fast. And you want to get your you, tickets You need like to get now. them today, folks, www.martinsburgrotary.com. Yes. John Gilstrap's buying at least 10 for everybody. Everybody here. Hey, that right? was a table. Uh, I, I, I don't. I don't remember. You don't recall. That. You no. don't. I don't remember saying <laughs> that. Right. Was, tell me a little bit. You said you did uh, about twenty six thousand dollars. What's your goal this year? And uh, do you have you picked out uh, how you're going to spend the money, or is that something you just you figure out at the end of the year? Well, I'm so glad you asked that, Mike. I am. <laughs> so we have um, a goal. What's the goal, Michelle? Our goal is thirty five thousand. Thirty five. Which I believe we will. We are already on pace. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. Yes. Right. We just need a couple more sponsorships. Couple no pressure. more. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we have a committee, um, and the, that committee is in charge of all the grants we give out in the community. So uh, we'll take all the money we raise from the three main fundraising events we have, which is golf, pickleball, and the Hope Gala. And we will put out in the community that we're accepting um, grant requests. And there, we have some, you know, different rules and stipulations to be able to submit that. But then our committee, um, starting in the beginning of the year, meets. We go through all of the grant requests. And then we will award grants with every single cent that we make in these fundraisers. We use every cent mm -hmm. um, to give out to the community for these great causes. Excellent. So we don't know where it's going to go. It's right. just going to depend on the need. Depend on who, who asks and in and what, what you raised. Sure. Yep. Yeah, we, we decided, I guess it was last year, to start a grant. Uh, well, this will be our third year um, of actually having grant applications, getting that out to all the different nonprofits and allowing them to tell us what they need the money for. Right. In previous years, we kind of sat around the table and, you know, made those decisions in-house. But I think getting that community input for them to tell us what they need um, is really important and then we actually also poll our members to see out of all of the areas of focus that we as a club um, are committed to as a Rotary Club what each member's focus is whether that's um, you know do you child. usually get more applications than you are oh, able yeah. to and now was some of those from last year fifty thousand dollars in requests okay. last year so unfortunately we could not yeah you can't can't Help everybody, yeah. yeah, so there's a there's a huge need, and that's what we're here for is to do our part, what we can to help with that. Let's talk a little bit about Rotary. There are a number of Rotary clubs in this area. So do you all operate separately, or do you work cooperatively on projects, or how does that work? That's a great question. Thank so you. We all do operate independently because um, <clears throat> we all kind of are under the district. And then there's an area, and then there's the individual clubs within that. So, but when we have the opportunity to partner together, we definitely try to do that. I mean, we all have our own areas that we want to, um, you know, provide for as far as the nonprofits. So Jefferson County, you know, there's a couple. There's Shepherdstown and Charlestown, and so they're trying to provide for their communities, as are we in Berkeley County. But there are opportunities for us to partner together, like. The morning Rotary Club, <clears throat> they do the um, the read. Read Berkeley, Read Berkeley program. Yeah. So they provide. They've been doing that for a long time. Nine yeah. books yeah. and a backpack to all. I believe it's second graders in for, all the counties. In yeah. all. So three it's a, that's a great project. We partnered that we're with them this partner. year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. great. Yeah. And then we also partnered with the morning Rotary for the Thanksgiving meals for the seniors. Um, so this must mean you're an afternoon or evening rotary, the right. way you're saying that? Yeah, yeah. lunch. Lunch rotary. Lunch on thir noon, noon on Thursday still, right? Yeah. Holiday Inn? Yeah, you wouldn't know, would you? I have not <laughs> been in a while. <laughs> 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 no pressure. 
um, <laughs> frequently these days, a little busy. But yes, so we actually have um, the Spring Mills um, evening rotary as well. So there's we have two clubs that Tracy is president of, um, and, and and that Spring Mills go into that little. They they meet in the evening. Where do they meet? Or they meet at CMB Bank. Oh, at CMB Bank. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. 5 at five thirty. Uh -huh. So right after work for some people who can't get exactly. off for lunch, maybe. Yeah. And it's every other Thursday. So mm -hmm. um, if you know you're looking for a club in the morning, the Sunrise um, Martinsburg Rotary would be your club. They meet at the uh, the College Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They meet at Blue Ridge now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesdays our, still. Yes. Yeah, okay. Tuesday seven a.m. Way too early. Yeah. Seven a.m. <laughs> a little bit early, but if you're into early, they've yeah. got yeah. you covered. Yeah. And then we're the noon club meet at the Holiday Inn on Thursdays, and then we have the Spring Mills evening, five thirty every other Thursday. So, um, if you are somebody who's interested in giving back and serving, connecting with other people who are like-minded and wanting to to do something good and positive for the community, Rotary is a great place to find your home. <laughs> Have you ever spoken at the Rotary? I at have the, not. I was a Rotarian for a number of years yeah. back in the day. But no, you but come back, get back yeah, in the phone. I would like to. Yeah, I would like to. Oh, we would love, love to have you. So, yeah. I actually, I, I wrote a, a, a book called Six Minutes to Freedom that is about a, a group of Rotarians in Panama City, Panama, back in the late 80s, who gathered together to form an illicit radio network that actually <laughs> toppled Manuel Noriega back in the Fictional. Day. No, it's not fiction. True. No, it's all, it's 100% really? true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's it was, awesome. It, and it triggered a big Delta Force world. operation. So it was all Rotarians. <laughs> Okay. Just um, wow. Apropos of nothing, but yes, but no, I'd be delighted to come speak. That'd be great. You should come speak to the I club about it. Enjoy, actually. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. We would love to see all of your beautiful, smiley faces. We will get well, if I joined, there. I will attend. Yeah. <laughs> right? Listen, I, I, I attended a lot of meetings for a lot of years, and then I was district governor. Yes. <laughs> I put my time in. I just needed a couple of years break. <laughs> I, I completely get okay. that. Yeah. I think it's and well the club's under fantastic leadership, and, and they're doing fantastic. So um, They don't need you? They we'll don't need me it. right now, but I'll come back. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm still a member. I just don't attend anymore. Yeah. Um, one more time, September... September 28th. September 28th. Hilton Garden Inn. Tickets are $150. www.martinsburgrotary.com. Mm -hmm. You can pay for your sponsorship right there. You can pay for your ticket right there. Or you can go down to Advocate Insurance and she'll take your check down there too, right? Sure. Right? Yeah, bring it on over right downtown. <laughs> and if you need insurance, you know, it's right there. <laughs> there you go. It works out. Anything else you want to add to the conversation before we let you go? Just that, you know, we're always looking for individuals who are interested in doing all the great things. Um, so if you are one of those, please come visit us. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after this. You're listening to TV 10 and WNR.